for the championship is going on that is between the russian player and the chinese player russian player and nepochi and dingleran is going on this is the game four that is going on in yan is leading with the point one after he won game three now this is the game between yan with the back pieces and Ding Liren with the white pieces. Here C4 was played by Ding and Knight to F6. This is English opening. He goes for English opening. Knight to C3. E5. Knight to F3. Normal opening. Here comes four knight variation of English opening. E3. Bishop to B4. Trying to extend the knight with the bishop. And because we know that in English opening, mostly the black bishop is of no use. And after going to C2, bishop caps on the C3. B caps on C3. Most probably. You should remember after B caps in C3, there comes D4 trying to go for the, some center break. And then after e, D6 was played and E4 was played immediately trying to go for D4, not letting black to play E4 after white goes for D4. So here first E4 was played by white, that is Ding. And castle, bishop to E2, knight to S5, trying to go for knight to F4. Somehow you might remember if knight comes on the f4 that might be winning in some of the cases, but not here exactly. D4, knight to f4, immediately that was played by black. Bishop captures an f4, e captures an f4, and then comes castle. Pawn on the f4 is somehow not so good. Going to f6, trying to protect the pawn and to go for some attack. Rook to f e1 was played, rook e8, or trying to go for some e open file, maybe some pawn push will be coming in the future. Bishop to b3, here white goes for some attack at the king side. Bishop to g4, trying to attack the knight and make this pawn isolated and of course make white king a danger. Knight to d2, immediate was played. And after knight to a5 was played, what happens if pawn was pushed? If pawn was pushed, that would be a mistake. That would be a mistake from black because after h3, you should not capture with the knight. If you capture, then bishop should capture. That will be bad for that will be bad, of course, bad for white. Instead, here is the winning move that is s3. After s3, there is bishop to s5 and queen to d1. You cannot protect the pawn on the f3. And of course, black will be losing this game. So instead of that, was not played. F3 was not played. Knight to a5 was played, trying to go for attack in the queen side. Some play in the queen side. After c5 was played, trying to go for a break. D caps in c5 and there comes e5 attacking the queen and go for some center or forward and the passers are coming up. Queen to at 6 here black black is a pawn up but of course the position for black is not so good because after d5 we have two passers coming up with some attack already here so we have rook a d8 then after we have c4 b, b6 is there and then after we have h3 trying to go for some attack to the bishop and bishop goes to h5 bishop to e4 trying to have this bishop also into the game somehow if black knight goes anywhere we can push the pawn and rook to e7 was played queen to c3 rook d e8 was played trying to double the rook in the same file we have bishop to f3 trying to extend the bishop the bishop on the h5 is trying to go for some good work out there after rook to e2 f6 was played now black wants this pawn to be pushed. Black wants to exchange one of the pawn that is trying to get some advantage in the end game because of the central pawn. But but of course you know you should remember when you are having the position that is better for you. So never extend. Say so here, Dingley didn't didn't extend. He simply pushed the pawn. And of course this is also somehow better for white. Knight to d6. The rook out here are low, totally blocked. So of course this position seems to be far better for white. Rook a e one was played. Knight to f five was then played. This is inaccuracy because instead of this there might be bishop to g six that could be played and rook to a one queen to g five a four and somehow white could continue in this way. But after knight to s five, knight to f five out here made somehow better for white after bishop captures an that's five queen captures and that's five and then we have rook to e4 trying to attack the pawn trying to attack the pawn because there is no protection of the pawn and queen to at six queen to f3 there is a way to capture the pawn knight to d4 now there comes captures rook to d4 giving up the exchange but remember this is already winning because of the pawn on the e6 after pawn push we have knight captures on the e4 capturing of the pawn the pawn 
the rook is just block it, block it off of the pawn. There's nothing that rook can play out here, and this is of course far better for far better for white. You can see knight coming on the f5, rook have to go somewhere, and after queen to e4, knight king goes to h8, and e7 is the brilliant move that was played by Ding. We have then queen coming to f7, pawn push again, and pawn have to capture the otherwise it is e7 coming up. We have pawn captures, knight captures attacking the queen and the rook, and then we have queen to g8, capturing of the exchange that was given for black, and after queen comes out there, there is no way to defense out there. You can see there is almost, almost winning after king to f7, there is queen captures on f5, rook to f6, queen to f7 check, king to e6, the only square for king, and queen attacks the pawn again, and the only rook to g6, and there comes a brilliant move from Liren, and this is the position where Ian Nepochi resigned, and he lost the game of game four, and now they are at the equal points, after game four, they are with the two points each. Game three was won by Ian, and game four, Ding Liren won. Somehow, if uh, Black plays any move out here, this is winning. If Pawn captures, then that is coming up here. That is winning. Of course, you can play here. Rook comes up here. Maybe the Rook can come up here. And then if he captures, then Queen is coming up. Or, yeah, Queen is coming up. Or you can capture with the Pawn or Rook, even if you capture with the on or rook boat you will be a rook up and this is winning completely winning for why thank you everyone if you like the video hit the like button if you have not yet subscribed do subscribe we'll be coming up with all the videos that will be played all the games that will be played in the world champion and many other videos too so do not forget to like share and subscribe bye bye take care